There we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Michael's Classes with Kid Made Modern today. Uh, we're with Tessa from Studio Jane, um, where we'll be crafting a really fun jellyfish craft today. We're super excited. Um, just a heads up, um, our chat is closed, but our Q&A is open. So if you guys have any questions, please put them in the Q&A, or if you want to share anything, um, I'm here to help moderate uh, questions to Tessa. And Kelly is here. To, if you have any uh, technical questions, she can help as well. Um, but uh, this will be recorded as well. So if we go a little fast for you for any reason, um, feel free to say slow down. But we'll um, have this on video as well in 24 hours um, on Michael's uh, Michael's website. Also, um, we have a few hashtags today as well. Um, Hashtag make it with Michael or make it with Michael's. Is, my, is that correct? Yes. Um, and hashtag Michael's classes and also um, tag at Kid Made Modern and also Tessa's is at Shop Studio Jane. So that was a lot to get started, but um, why don't we go ahead and introduce Tessa? Hi, Tessa. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm so excited to be here with you guys and Michael's and Kid Made Modern. And today we're going to be making some fun little jellyfish friends. And we're going to go through all the steps to make them in whatever color combos you want. And they can all be a little bit different. You can make multiples today. Um, so we're going to go through the supply list first. So to make our little jellyfish today, you're going to need felt. And I'm using these little pre-cut strips of felt from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. Um, they come in tons of different colors. So we're going to be using all different shades today. Um, but you can use any felt that you have at home. So if you have larger pieces, that's fine. You can cut them down as well. Um, and then we're going to be using fuzzy sticks. So um, also known as pipe cleaners. So any colors of these, I have all sorts of fun colors. Also, these guys are all in our arts and crafts library. Um, but you can use any color that you want. Maybe you want to use some with patterns on them like these or metallic ones. Um, any of those will work great. And then we're going to be using googly eyes. So I have a whole bowl full of colorful googly eyes. Um, some of these little standard googly eyes that come with glue on the back already work as well. Um, or you can use any of these that come in all sorts of fun colors. And then lastly, you're going to need some glue and scissors. So you can either use a hot glue gun if you're crafting with an adult today, um, or you can use white glue. And lastly, you can also use glue dots. So if you have glue dots at home, that works really well um, with felt as well. So white glue sometimes takes a long time to dry with felt. It will work, um, but it definitely takes longer to dry. So once you set it, you're going to want to go ahead and set it and then let it dry up fully. Um, and then, like I said, some scissors. And I think that's all you're going to need. So it's really um, primarily felt and fuzzy sticks but you can definitely use cardboard or paper um, to make them instead. Um, and if you have any questions on supplies, definitely let us know. So I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see and we'll get started. Hey Tessa, um, as you're going through the supplies, if someone only has uh, three pipe cleaners, fuzzy sticks as we like to call them, yeah. um, is there any other ideas of supplies that you would suggest that they could possibly use? Um, yeah, I mean, you can definitely do ribbon would work or yarn. Um, the fun thing about the um, little fuzzy sticks here is that you can easily bend them or curl them since they have wire inside, but you can do um, paper strips or yeah, ribbon, yarn, anything like that will all glue on the back still and we'll have a similar look. It just might um, not be these little spiral curls or um, the zigzags, but you can also cut them out in shapes if you're going to do it on paper as well. You can also use paper straws or anything like that, um, and it will still look like a little jellyfish. Perfect. Also, our friend Remy is back from last week. She wants to say, they want to say hi. So that's Hi, great. welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are joining us today. Um, okay, so our first steps in making our jellyfish is going to be making our little, the actual body of the jellyfish. Um, and to do that, we're just going to layer together these strips of felt. So you can take any color combos that you want. Um, again, your jellyfish might look different than mine. And I think that that's always a good thing. So whatever color combination you want to use today. So for this first one, I'm going to start with some hot pink felt. And we are going to take one, two, 
three and four strips. So you're gonna need four strips to make your jellyfish. You can use less if you want to. Um, you can use more if you want to do more stripes. So as you can see in this little sample here, we have them all layered together. But in this one here, we only have three colors that we used. Um, or you can do small strips if you want to instead. So it's totally up to you. But depending on how um, many stripes you want on your jellyfish, all we're going to do is start gluing these strips together. So I'm going to take one strip and I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to put a strip of hot glue right at the bottom of my strip and I'm going to lay it on top of my hot pink. I'm just lining up my edges. We're going to cut this into the shape of a jellyfish. Um, so if your edges aren't perfect, don't worry about that. We can trim it all up at the end. So now we've got two strips together here. And then we're going to take a third strip and do the same thing. So I'm going to take a strip of glue at the bottom. If you're using glue dots, I would do at least three. So you can do one on each end and one in the middle. And then you can decide on how much space you want between your colors. So now I've got my bottom strip in hot pink, middle in light pink, and now we added a little purple. And then lastly, I'm going to take this pretty lavender color and do the same exact thing. Yeah, so they're asking how long the strip is. So these um, these felt strips are from the Kidmay Modern Arts and Crafts Supply Library. They're about, is it about four inches wide? Is that correct? Yeah, these guys, they're about um, four to five inches long and then about two inches, an inch and a half um, tall. So they're not really large. You can make you can make them any size you want though as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to cut your strips down, if you're using other size felts, then yeah, cut them to about four by two. Awesome. And they can use paper as well if they don't have felt on hand, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So you can cut strips of paper, any pattern, any color, and you can cut them into similar size strips. Um, or you can always do a pieces of paper plate or cardboard, anything like that, that you can glue them together the same way. Um, and if you're using something like maybe just plain computer paper or a paper plate today, um, you can always paint them or doodle on them and make your own patterns. So you can really get creative and make it in any color combo that you want. And just so everyone knows, we'll be doing this step again. Um, so if you're asking to, for her to slow down, we are going to be making a few different jellyfish. So uh, we'll be going through each of the steps again. Absolutely, yes. We're gonna make a couple of them. So if you um, need to take a second, just just follow along and then we're gonna make at least, at least two, maybe three today. So you'll see all the steps. Okay, so now on this front portion, we have four strips of felt all glued together and I'm going to flip this over. You can see now these are all loose on the back. So we're just going to add glue on the back as well. And I'm just putting a strip of glue, a little stripe of glue down and then laying the pink felt back down on top of it. So I'm just flipping it over and I'm putting glue, the hot glue on the piece below it so that my fingers aren't getting close to that hot glue. And again, if you're using um, just white craft glue today, you can follow all these same steps. It's just gonna take a little longer to dry. So once you paste it down, uh, just try to be gentle with it so it doesn't slide around and then it will dry eventually. Okay, so now we've got all four of our strips glued together here. And we're going to take our scissors and we're going to first cut out our shape. So a jellyfish, it's kind of just a little half circle shape. So that's what we're going to cut today. You can definitely trace something if you want, like a bowl um, or a cup if you want to trace it, or you can just freehand cut it. So I'm going to make mine just come in a little bit off the edge so I get a nice clean border. And then as I climb to the top with my scissors, I'm just gonna slowly go inward toward the middle to create a curve. And then we'll come back down the other side, trying to even it up. So now we have a nice little half circle here. Can always come back around Feel like there's a little bit of a pointy edge here so I'm just going to trim that down a little bit more and now we have a nice little half circle of all different colors 
And you can hang on to these little scrap scraps of felt. Um, these are always great to add in to make little cards or extra little details for things. So I hang on to everything. Okay, so now that you have your half circle all cut out here, uh, if you need to glue any extra pieces like this here, I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue at the top. Paste that down again. And now we're going to create a fun little scalloped edge on the bottom. So to make a, a scallop is basically multiple little half circles all the way across. You can also do a wavy pattern or a zigzag, but basically we're just gonna freehand cut a nice little pattern at the bottom. So I'm going to start by taking my scissors and just slowly cutting little half circles or little scallops. And you know, we're gonna make a couple different ones today. So the next one, um, we'll do a little, a little wave pattern instead. So it's not so perfect of a little half circle, but you can do any style that you want. This is also an optional step. If you wanted to leave yours flat at the bottom, you can do that as well. Um, but giving it a little bit of a pattern in the cut makes it feel like it has more motion. Um, a little more movement, which is fun for your little jellyfish. Okay, so now we've got all of our layers together and we've got our little scalloped edge cut. So our next step is going to be adding on our little faces and our jellyfish tentacles. So I'm going to use a couple of different googly eyes here to make my little face. And um, you can use as many eyes as you want. Maybe your jellyfish has one, maybe it has 10. Um, I'm gonna pick a couple here and you can make them match if you want or two different ones. So I'm gonna pick out a couple different colors um, using the same size here, but a yellow and a pink eye. And then for these, you can definitely use um, just some white glue or glue dots as well. Um, they'll dry and you're not gonna move it around that off that much once we glue the, down the little eyes. So you can use a white glue as well. Okay, so if you want to glue these down, I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue here. Get my glue to come out. And you don't need a whole lot on the back here. Um, again, you can still use hot glue if that's what you've already been using or you can just put a little bit of glue. So I just put a little bit of glue in the middle and now I'm going to paste this right down onto my felt. Just a reminder everyone, this is being recorded as well. So it will be on Michael's, uh, Michael's class's website tomorrow in 24 hours. Also we'll be crafting a second jellyfish. So if you're having trouble keeping up, don't worry, take your time and we'll be doing a second one with you all as well. Absolutely, yes. As Lori said, we're going to be making a couple different jellyfish. So um, don't worry if you're not if you're not there yet. We'll do them all all the steps over again. Okay, so now we've got some fun little eyes on our little jellyfish here. Um, you can add little mouth or eyelashes or anything else you want to the front of this, um, which we're going to do. But you can also leave them as is if you are happy with your little jellyfish with just some little eyes. Jessica was just commenting that the felt is difficult to cut. I would agree. Sometimes felt is difficult, more difficult to cut, um, but you definitely, do you have any suggestions for that, Tessa? Um, yeah, if it's feeling like it's difficult to cut, it might be um, your scissors, unfortunately. And if so, sometimes it's easiest to hold your scissors close, hold the felt close to where you're cutting so that it gives it a little bit more strength. Um, and that way it doesn't get as floppy. Um, so sometimes that can be helpful if you hold it closely, make sure your fingers aren't in your scissors, but hold it close to kind of give it a little bit more um, durability as you're cutting it. Um, and then sometimes if it's too thin a felt, then if you double it up, sometimes that's helpful as well. Um, sometimes when it's just really thin fabric style felt, these ones are a little bit thicker, so they're sometimes easier to cut. Um, but when they're really floppy, sometimes that can be harder to cut. So you can always double up your felt. So you can either fold it in half to make it thicker. And surprisingly with felt, usually the thicker it is, it's easier to cut. So you can fold it in half or double up multiple little strips. Um, sometimes that can help. 
And if that still isn't working, um, you might want to see maybe in your craft supplies if you have another pair of scissors um, or ask an adult at home if they can maybe help you cut out the felt. Um, and worst case scenario, if you can't cut the felt, skip the felt, find some paper, switch your, pro your materials around. Um, whenever you're crafting, it's about having fun and creating something that you love. So if it's, the materials aren't working, then you can always switch the materials around to, to make it work for you. Okay, so back to this little purple and pink jellyfish. We've got some little eyes down um, and I'm going to add a couple little eyelashes to this one. So I'm gonna take another strip of black felt. You can definitely use a black marker to draw on your felt as well or paper for this step. Um, and I'm just going to cut little tiny strip off the ends. I'm gonna cut two of those strips. And they're not perfectly the same size and that's okay. They're pretty close. So I just cut two little strips right off the end of my felt. And then from there, I'm going to cut this down into smaller little rectangles. So I cut it down into just a little teeny rectangle here. And these are going to be our jellyfish eyelashes. And then I'm going to just cut three for each eye um, making them about the same length. So I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. And again, this is optional if you want to add eyelashes to yours um, or if you want to just draw some on. Or I mean, if they can draw on the eyes, absolutely. If you don't have googly eyes, feel free to draw as well. For sure, yeah, and you can use all sorts of things to make eyes as well. So if you want to cut other eyes out of different um, color felt, you can do that or paper. You can definitely take markers or paint and just draw a face on your jellyfish. Um, maybe look through some magazines and you can do a little collage and find eyes in there to glue on. Um, so whatever you want to do is fine. Okay, and then for these little guys, you can use hot glue to glue these on, but they are really tiny. So this is definitely a step that I would recommend to get an adult to help with, or you can use um, just some white glue for these ones. Since they're pretty small, they should stick easily and we're gonna just lay them right down. So I just put a little bit of glue on the back and then I'm going to start in the center of my eye. So I'm pasting one down first. And then taking a second one and just moving slightly over so it comes out like a little eyelash or a little sunshine ray. We've got a couple little eyelashes there. And then taking a third one. Now we've got one with eyelashes, one without. So we'll finish the other eye next. And we are doing this step first of making the face, but if you um, are still gluing or cutting your, your pieces out, that's fine. We're gonna add tentacles to this one next. So you can always do tentacles and then add in your face later. If you want to draw it on after the fact, then you can finish all of the the technical pieces with building your jellyfish body and then decorate it after. So now we've got some little eyelashes looking all fancy. Okay, so now that our little eyes and eyelashes are done, again, you can definitely add as many different elements if you want to add patterns or doodles or flowers on it or a little mouth, whatever you want to do would be adorable. So definitely feel free to decorate as much as you want. But next we're going to add some little tentacles. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my little jellyfish over. And since we did use the white glue, we're just going to be careful and lay it down flat because that glue is still going to be drying. Okay, so next we're going to take some little fuzzy sticks to make our legs and or tentacles. And you can use um, 
combination of different colors if you want, or you can use all one color. Um, that's totally up to you. You can take creative licensing and do whatever feels right for your little jelly. And I'm going to make them a little spiral. So to do that, I'm just going to take my little fuzzy stick here and curl it around my finger. So I'm going to hold it between my finger and my thumb. And then I'm just going to wrap it around my finger. And if it starts to run out of space, just move it and continue. So now I've got this tight little coil of a fuzzy stick. I'm going to hold on to both ends and just stretch it out. And you can make it as long or as short as you want if you want it to be a tighter coil or a longer spiral. And then you can also cut these down into all different lengths. So we're going to spiral a couple more here. So again, I'm just going to hold it between my finger and my thumb and then just twist it around my finger. And again, if you aren't using fuzzy sticks today, that's fine. Um, you can definitely cut strips of paper and you can either cut them into a, into a wavy pattern or you can just cut them straight. And I'm just gonna pull that out. So we got these long little spirals here. I'm gonna do some in yellow and pink on this one. And you don't have to spiral them either. If you wanna just glue them on, we're gonna glue them on next and I'll show you that. Um, if you want them to be straight tentacles or on our next one, we're gonna do a little zigzag pattern with them and I'll show you how to do that too. All right, so we've got a couple different lengths here. And then from here, I'm going to cut a couple of them in half so that we have multiple sizes of little tentacles to hang down. I'm going to do one more spiral here. All right, so now we've got all these different lengths and sizes and we are going to glue them on. So um, for the fuzzy sticks, um, the hot glue is definitely going to be what works the easiest for you. Um, but if you aren't using a hot glue gun today, then you can use white glue or um, glue dots for this step as well. With the white glue, this is definitely gonna be the step that you're gonna wanna glue all your legs on and then set it aside and let those fully dry before you move it around. All right, so I'm just going to put a little dot of glue in the middle and then take my fuzzy stick and press the end of it into it. So I'm keeping my finger though away from my hot glue. So my glue is up here and my finger's a little bit below it. And so that the fuzzy stick is adhering to the glue, but my finger's not in it. All right, so then once that one's in, we're just gonna do the same thing for all of them. So just taking again, a little bit of glue here. and then holding it a little bit below it and pressing down. And sometimes it takes a minute for it to set so you can always hold it a little longer. All right, and then we have these shorter pieces as well that I'm gonna put a couple on either side. And on these ones, um, I just left the back as is, you can always take more felt or paper if you wanna cover up the legs um, or the little tentacles, then you can do that as well. Or you can just leave it like this. You can glue this down onto a piece of paper to make it into artwork afterward, maybe make a little frame, um, or you can hang it on your wall. They're definitely fun and colorful and good with summer is around the corner. So I don't know about you, but I know I'm going to be spending some time at the beach as much as possible. So I hope that maybe see some jellyfish in the distance, maybe not too close. All right. So as we're gluing these legs down, uh, I'd love to know maybe what colors you guys are making your jellyfish out of um, or what summer activities you're gonna be doing this summer. You can let us know in the Q and A so we can all chat about it. 
Okay, so again, if you used white glue, I would go ahead and just leave it upside down like this and don't touch it. So that way you can make sure all of your little tentacles dry. Um, but if you're using hot glue, it should dry pretty immediately. And then you can remove any little hot glue strings that are there. Um, that's always going to be the case when you're, when you're playing or crafting with hot glue. Um, it's always gonna leave little strings that you have to clean up afterward. And then I'm just gonna trim these ones down a little bit so that they're not quite so long. And then just like that, you've made your little jellyfish. So you can, again, add as many little tentacles as you want. Um, if you have less, you can make them, you can cut them down shorter. Um, maybe your jellyfish is a baby jellyfish and its tentacles haven't gotten long enough yet. Um, or you, and so you can cut them down and do lots of little short ones, or you can just do three long tentacles, uh, whatever you, you have will definitely work. Okay, so we've got our first jellyfish done here. We're gonna make a second one next with some different colors and show you a couple different um, ways you can cut a different pattern or make a different shape with your fuzzy sticks. Awesome, just a few things too, as people are sharing, uh, Tessa. Emily's asking, do you recommend high temp or low temp hot glue? You can definitely use low temp. So um, low temp glue guns are great. They are definitely still hot, but they're not so hot that you have to be as um, worried about using them and they will definitely work. When you're using a low temp hot glue gun, um, because it's not as hot, it also cools down faster. So my only recommendation with that is you might wanna work a little bit faster um, and so that it doesn't dry before you put all your pieces together, but a low temp hot glue gun is great. Awesome, and um, let's see here, Harper, uh, the fuzzy legs on her jellyfish um, are brown and, oh, and her name is Harper, Harper. <laughs> um, but that's super fun. And then, uh, and sorry, you guys, if I'm saying your name correct, incorrectly, I apologize if I had it for this. Uh, Jehi um, is used blue, purple, yellow, and green for the legs. Very that's fun. So um, Ida thinks this is a very good class, wants to compliment you on that. That's awesome. Um, and then for summer activities, um, um, one of our crafters, Evelyn, they're going to meet their baby sister in June. That is very exciting. Congrats, Evelyn. That is so exciting. Yep. And Gracie is going to go to the pool, which that sounds lovely, and ride her bike this summer and get ice cream a lot too. And I think that sounds like the perfect summer. Yeah, I like all those ideas. Awesome. And then um, let's see here, we have uh, someone using blue, green, and purple in theirs. Another Ooh. person's using green, yellow, and pink for theirs. But I'll share some more as we get started with your second one. I love that. Yes, definitely let us know what color you guys are doing. Um, for this next one, I'm going to be making a blue, green, orange, and yellow little jellyfish. So to start, this is gonna be my bottom color. And I'm going to take my second color. I put a strip of glue on the end and then I'm just going to lay it right on top. And this is the part that you can create as much distance between your colors as you want. Um, that's just gonna be how much is showing as you glue it. So for this, I did a little teeny tiny bottom and then more even size stripes. Um, for this last one, they're all kind of different sizes. So you can really make them any, um, any size and in between as you want. So again, I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot. Um, you can do the same thing if you're using white glue, just do a little line of glue along the edge and then take that glue edge and put it right on top of your other one. So now all three of these are all glued together. Once we glue all of our colors together, we're gonna to flip it over and glue the back. So don't worry about these if they're all um, separated right now. And now my last color on this jellyfish is going to be orange. So I'm going to put again glue on the bottom and lay that right on top. Um, Jahi, they actually they're using blue, purple, and yellow for the body and green for the legs. Oh cute! Yeah, yeah you can definitely mix and match all different ones. So um, you can do maybe your 
jellyfish is monochromatic and it's all one color and that's cute or you can have a full rainbow um i think all of those options are great and barbara has a question how do you cut the pipe cleaners with the wire inside so they should be able to cut with just um, a pair of scissors so sometimes the easiest thing to do is to take your scissors um and you might want to put it further in so open up your scissors all the way and put it further in and that will give you a little bit more leverage to cut and then you should be able to just cut it right in half some scissors are um stronger than others but let's see here i have some other scissors here these guys and they might take a little bit you can also hold it from both ends if it starts to slip out so hold it between your two fingers and your thumb and another finger and then your scissors go through and then press down so might be a, need a little bit of strength but you can definitely do it with um really any standard scissors so even if you're using like our little um green scissors that come in the arts and crafts library those definitely will still cut um a little fuzzy stick but again yeah you might need to hold it or even bend it and then you can hold both ends underneath the bottom of your scissor and then you can cut And so you can cut it into as many little pieces as you want. So if you want to do little tiny tentacles, you can do that. Um, or if you are having trouble um, cutting yours with the wire, then that might be a step that you need to ask an adult to help you with and they can cut it at the end as well. So you can glue them all, all on and then you can cut them down after. Okay, so if you guys are gluing with me, then at this point we're flipped it over we're going to glue down any of our pieces here so i'm just putting a little bit of glue and then laying that back down and by flipping this up and gluing on the sh on the piece below it again that makes sure that there's no hot glue close to your fingers all right so now we've got four strips of felt all glued together and we're going to cut out our little half circle or a jellyfish head and so you can make it as big as you want so if you want to make yours maybe a little bit wider than the last one i'm just going to leave this edge and as i get to the top here i'm going to start cutting across and then cutting in a circular shape all the way over Grace has a great idea. She's using uh, gluing pom poms on the end of her tentacles, which that's super fun. Ooh, so cute. I love that idea. Okay, so now we've got this little almost has a sun sunrise sunset little look to this. And so now we've got our half circle all the way around all the way across. And then we're going to go ahead and cut along the bottom edge here. Um, to create a little wave or a zigzag pattern. Um, for the first one, we did scalloped, which was little teeny half circles. So you cut almost like you're going to cut a whole circle, but stop at the halfway mark. For this one, if we do a little wave pattern, um, basically all we're going to do is just not stop cutting. So I'm going to take my scissors and then just rock them back and forth slowly. And it creates a similar look, but it's going to be a little bit more loose, not quite so obvious as a circle and feel a little bit more like just a wave. You see that there. Awesome. Can... And uh, one of our crafters, Aubrey, she made a blue and purple jellyfish that she named Judah. Ooh, so cute. Um, you'll have to share that with us we would love to see if you um share that on social make sure to tag it um with michael's um and hashtag michael's classes and hashtag make it with michael's and kid made modern so we can share that with tessa as well yes please i want to meet judah the jellyfish <laughs> uh okay so at the bottom here we did the little wave you can also do a little zigzag pattern so just to show you if you want to do that instead um, you can cut basically little triangles. So I'm going to cut at a sharper angle all the way across, and you can do that style as well. So you could do this at the bottom of your jellyfish if you want to do that. So you have a couple different options. You can do zigzag, scallop, a wave. It's totally up to you. 
You can even just do lots of little fringe if you wanted the bottom. So you could take your scissors and then just cut lots of little teeny strips to make a little fringe. And that will also give your jellyfish look like a little motion in there. So you could do that as well all the way across the bottom of your jellyfish. So you can pick and choose or you can do a combination of all of them. Maybe your jellyfish has all of these different techniques all the way across or each one is a little bit different. Okay, so now we've got this guy here and it looks like this edge is a little bit less round. So I'm just gonna trim this down. All right, so now we've got our jellyfish here and now we're gonna glue our eyes on. So again, you can use white glue, glue dots. Um, maybe your googly eyes already have adhesive on the back, glue on the back. For this one, I'm going to pick a couple different eyes. Here I'm gonna do two green eyes. And again, you can just take some white glue on the back. You can use hot glue as well. Um, so I'm kind of going back and forth between the two. So it's totally up to you. We have a few other summer activities people wanted to share. So well, someone's going to their uncle's lake house. Oh, I wish my uncle had a lake house. That sounds very fun. Um, another person is going to go to their mom's friend's son's birthday in Orlando. Um, plus they're going to go to Volcano Bay and they might go to Disneyland. That sounds amazing. A big summer. Yeah. You guys got some great summer plans. Yeah, and then um, another person is using light and dark yellow and purple for body and green for the legs. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to see that. Thank you. All right, so these ones I glued my eyes on a little bit further apart on this one. And then I'm gonna add a little mouth. So I'm gonna take my black felt, or you can again, draw this on or use paper um, or any color. And I'm just going to make a little half circle shape here. Tessa, they're asking if green is your favorite color. Green is my favorite color. How did you guys know? <laughs> Pink is a close second, but yes, I love green. Okay, so I just basically cut a little U shape out of my black felt. And then I'm going to take my glue. Again, I'm just using white glue on this. So anytime you're using little tiny pieces like this, um, then, and you don't want to use the hot glue gun, go ahead and use your craft glue, your white glue. Just know you're going to want to let it set and fully dry. And I'm going to take this and put it right in the middle of my little jellyfish. I'm just going to hold it down for a second. And look how happy he looks now. Oh, he looks really happy. We have some more that see um, Harper's jellyfish is coral and mint with the yellow ribbon stripe. That sounds super Ooh, cute. That's fun. And um, Adriana is use, making pink and purple with blue glasses. Oh, I would love to see that. With glasses? Oh my gosh. Yes, I want to see the glasses. How cute is that? Yeah, that's a great idea. You could totally make glasses out of little fuzzy sticks if you want to or out of felt. Now I'm very intrigued, I wanna see. Mm -hmm. Okay, for this little guy's um, little tentacles, I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. Um, so we went over how to wrap it around your finger to make a spiral. But if you wanna do a zigzag, we're just going to take it in small increments and then I'm just gonna bend it and then go the opposite direction. So just bending it, you can make this really any um, size you want. So if you want your zigzag to be really tiny, you're just going to bend it in more places. But I'm taking about an inch or so and then just pushing my it right around the edge of my thumb and making it bend. And then you can pull it if you want to loosen it up a little bit or you can scrunch it together if you want it to be really tight. So it's totally up to you and do that with these as well. I'm using some of these ones that I think are really cute with this little striped pattern. You know, Lindsay's Roman who's age seven made a red jellyfish named Rocco and Rocco has a bow tie. How cute. Uh, yes, Rocco is also a great name for a jellyfish. How cute is that? 
I love that you guys are adding all sorts of fun accessories to your little jellies. Too. And then someone has their favorite colors are purple, orange, yellow, pink, and blue. That's a lot of favorite colors, but I enjoy all those colors as well. Those are all good colors. And then Giselle, she lives in San Diego and she's going to go to the beach this summer and celebrate her birthday. So we hope she has a great birthday. Yes, a summer birthday. I got a summer yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have another jelly. Uh, their jellyfish is named Flower. Flower, so cute. You can easily cut out a little flower and felt, or make a flower from um, your fuzzy sticks, and maybe have a little flower on its head, or as a little necklace. All right. So you can make as many of these as you want. Again, you can have a ton of tentacles. Um, and our samples, they all are a little different. So this one has quite a few tentacles on it. And with this one, they're more spaced out and longer. Um, so you can layer them up. It's totally up to you. Every jellyfish is a little bit different. And there's tons of different types of jellyfish too. So you can, you know, really do some research if you want to know how many jelly, how many tentacles they should have, um, or you can just get creative. All right, so now we've got all these little zigzags and you can cut some down if you want. I'm gonna cut them in a couple different lengths. Just so everyone knows too, um, Tessa is using the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Supply Library on today's craft. And usually for most of the classes that we have with Tessa, she does use that supply library. Um, there's always listed out on the Michaels classes on what items you'll need for class, but it's a pretty good one and it's available at Michael's. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the majority of what we always use, um, most of it does come from that big box. It is a full library. It has tons of different things. So that's where like, if you want some of these fun little patterns or all these little eyes that come in so many different colors, um, then you can just keep using them for tons of different activities. So it gives you lots of options. All right, so to go ahead and attach these little tentacles on the back, just went ahead and flipped over our little jellyfish, um, which now you guys all have cute names. So we need to come up with a name for our jellyfish we made today. So if you have any name suggestions, let us know. Okay, so you can either take your hot glue and put it right on your, on your um, little fuzzy stick, or I think the safest method is to put a little bit down and then lay it on there. And I'm just holding it just below the glue. And as your glue starts to dry, um, you can always press it down further, but you wanna make sure that you keep your finger away from the hot glue. And if you feel like your little fuzzy sticks are bending like at different angles at first, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and glue them all on and then you can easily bend them back and forth um, to straighten them out or make them go in any direction you want. Glue here. And I'm just spacing them out, these ones that are longer and spacing them out first, and then I'll fill in with a couple of shorties. Just doing all different ones. You can always straighten out the top if you want to a little bit. And again, you can do um, glue dots as well. If you're gonna use glue dots for this portion, then I would definitely do one glue dot per fuzzy stick or per uh, little tentacle. And then I can keep gluing all of these on. And this second jelly is almost done. We have some names for you, Tessa. Okay, let's hear them. All right. Um, Grace would name your jellyfish Sunset. I think that's a nice name. Cute. I like that. Um, May would name your jellyfish Wiggles. Oh, I love Wiggles. It does look like he's kind of wiggling, doesn't it? Um, let's see here. Name it the jellyfish. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Um, oh gosh, there's a lot. Uh, well, someone's naming their jellyfish Sandy, which is a nice name. That's a great name. Um, 
Sparky is another jellyfish. Cute. Um, another one is jelly. Jelly. Another mm -hmm. one is fuzz. That's very fitting for fuzzy tentacles. Exactly. Another one's curly. Cute. Um, let's see here. Lots of, lots of comments here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Vanna? B-A-N-N-A. Vanna, I like that's fun. Ziggs. Ziggs is cute. Cleek. Mm -hmm. uh, Teddy. Um, Florissa. You guys have so many great names. Tentacle. <laughs> are we ever going to pick one i know and that's not uh, there's a whole list uh, there's a, a couple, just a couple more guys we're all name out um kayla being one samuel and shocky shocky oh my gosh so cute well there's so many great names um i'm gonna go ahead and pick one for each that we made today and i think that this needs to be fuzz and this needs to be wiggles oh i think that's a good decision but they're all good maybe we can add middle names. So I think we'll add, add middle names in too. Yep. But just like that, you guys, look at these cute little jellies that you made. We've got wiggles, we've got fuzz. They are all ready, um, all glued together. And I hope that yours are all ready for the summer as well. So we've got them all here. And um, again, as Lori mentioned, if you guys missed a step or want to follow along later to make more then all of this is recorded so you can definitely head over to michael's kids club to watch this anytime um or definitely post all of your little friends that you made we'd love to meet all your jelly awesome and then um we'll have another class on the third of june is that correct yes it is so the third of june we are going to be doing this little campfire um outdoor craft so again we're going to be using lots of felt again um so um, today was a good practice day of playing with felt and I'm excited to practice with you guys again. So thank you so much and um, have fun making your jellies. Have Bye guys. Fun.